Welcome to my channel Gigablitz. Today I'll be explaining you about basic operators and if statements in Python. So let's get started. So before we start, I would recommend that you go and see the first uh, one of this video else you might not exactly understand everything if you're a beginner. So, um, so first I'm going to start off with operators. So now if you, you want to check whether 1 plus 100 is equal to, let's say, Oh yeah, uh, 101. Oh sorry, 101. So now it checks and it's true. So yeah, and plus 100 equal equal to 101. Now as you can see, I've given equal equal uh, two equal signs and not just one equal sign. This is because uh, Python for for equal to sign it basically means assigning something so for example hello equal to hi now what this means is that hello uh, hi will be pulled over to hello so uh, it assigns the string hi to hello so uh, let's see is hello equal equal to Hi. It will give true because uh, we know that hello is uh, assigned as hi. So according to Python, both of them are the same. Now uh, we want to check if 1 is greater than 15. And it's not true. So uh, Python can do even more complex uh, equations. So let's say uh, if you're familiar with exponents, uh, we could give 10 raised to the power 100. So now uh, for those of you who don't know what's uh, exponents, exponents are basically uh, the number of times you multiply a number. So now uh, 10 raised to the power of 100 means that you multiply 10 100 times. So now we'll check if 10 by 100 is equal to 10 uh, multiplied by 100. And as you can see, it gives you false. Now just for fun, I'll just uh, print this one. And as you can see, it's a pretty big number because uh, when it does, it uh, comes out pretty large. Now uh, Python can do even more complex mathematics than this. Uh, so let's say 10 uh, star star 1000 or 100 and as you can see it gives you that huge number so now uh, back to topic uh, so we have this uh, the greatest sign the greatest sign then the lesser sign so uh, is 100 less than 200 and it's true now other uh, other there are other operators now uh, let's see so we want to check is hi there in uh, wait So now, as you can see, it gives true. Now you might be wondering why. As you can see over here, it's given high over there. Now, it, uh, according to it, if it's there, it's a part of it. So the best way to do this would be, uh, that's what I do anyway, high in space. In this, sorry, check this is a string 
and as you can see now it gives false as over here hi is followed by a s and not a space so yes uh, what else is there you could give and uh, and so uh, now and there is and and or so now uh, for this we uh, we'll have to go into the if statement so an if statement is basically um, how do you define it it's if something is true then you have to do this otherwise you have to do something else so basically uh, first I'll go to an if statement uh, so if hello is equal to uh, what was it yeah hello I mean um, you know what if 100 is greater than uh, 1000 then print 100 is greater so yes now uh, for this I uh, I'll just uh, open a new file so one sec I'll close that so if 100 is greater than 1000 print wait one sec print 100 is greater oh wait I forgot the one sec greater for the string ones so yes now since it isn't uh, greater it won't show it so now uh, one sec and so now if it isn't or let's say else now if this one isn't true then uh, we will go ahead with this now if uh, let's say this is true we will just ignore this and go over to the next line so else print thousand is greater so now I'll just uh, save this I guess uh, desktop so yeah so yeah now I'll uh, go ahead and run module and as you can see since 1000 is greater it prints that now uh, I'll introduce to another thing it's called input so let's say we have to store this under variables uh, so let's say hi is equal to input number oh, wait no not hi uh, I guess number num is equal to na uh, input so then we will uh, compare the number then we'll give we'll compare num by thousand if num is greater then we'll say num is greater now what this will do is first it will take the number and then it will uh, give a space is greater so uh, for example hashtag now hashtag is used to declare comments it's uh, pretty useful so hashtag num so whatever the number is it will give that num is greater oops I keep forgetting that okay greater else it will just print 1000 is greater so run okay 1000 oops uh, yeah it's a string so I kind of forgot about that I guess 
now if uh, I think I told you this in the last video but it's saying it again if uh, your number is uh, when you're getting input your number will be by default or uh, an in uh, string so um, it would be best to convert it into an integer so first go ahead num and put it in brackets and give it int now this will convert it into an integer now if you want a float float uh, that is in decimal points you can give float now since i only need integer so yeah and so now we'll run it let's say 500 so if i 500 and as you can see it knows the 1000 is greater now we'll just uh, run this again and i'll give something else uh, so let's see 5000 i guess 5000 is greater now as you can see uh, in this one i haven't given the space yet it does it this is because uh, when you're giving it uh, when you're giving a comma it automatically automatically puts a space but if you put a sign sec so i'll uh, run this again and now i'll give 5000 as you can see that the space is gone now if you have a num as by default integer it won't work because then it will think that you're you want uh, to uh, combine number with a string then it will say it's invalid and show you an error so in that case it's best to put it as a string so yes a string num plus is greater and if you're putting plus put a space over here so yes now another thing is and so i'll just explain so if uh, let's say if num oh, one sec num is greater than uh, 6 and num is less than 30 or uh, 35 so print you can write so this is a uh, let's say we want to check uh, if a person can go uh, if uh, if a person can go on a ride now uh, we'll check the age so if he is less than uh, 6 or greater than 40 it uh, I mean wait if 40 is greater I mean less than 40 and greater than 6 sorry about that uh, you can ride so uh, run module okay so let's say uh, 14 yeah I forgot about that uh, now another thing you can do is uh, don't put over here and you can just put it directly over here so over here put in so this by default will make it an integer so let's see uh, 14 and you can write else let's say uh, I don't know, uh, 53 I guess 53 it doesn't say anything because you can't write so we'll uh, so we can either give an else statement now let's say uh, we want to check whether uh, let's say 41 or a particular age say uh, if the age is num equal to 
let's say 100 or 60 if 60 is greater oh wait now 60 is uh, yeah so that I guess keep confused so if the number is uh, if 60 is greater than the number that means oh wait no you know what uh, forget it so 30 or I mean if the number is greater than 60 then we'll say uh, let's say you are old so yeah now uh, run module so first uh, since I have already checked this I'll go with the LF statement so uh, let's say 65 you are old so it gives that and exits so if uh, these this is uh, false if uh, it isn't true then it will go ahead with this and now there's another one that is called an or statement so what an or does is it checks whether it is there so uh, let's see if you are uh, equal to let's say 13 if <clears throat> num is equal to 13 oh wait you know what forget about int just rewrite it so name equal to input So yeah, I'll just take the input and then we get if the name is equal to Abhinav or let's say Akshit or uh, I don't know Ayush. So yeah, if that is the name, we'll give let's say print hello uh, you are an admin okay so yeah after that else uh, or let's say there's someone else another name or Say, uh, I'll just copy this to save time. So, yeah, if else the name is equal to blitz, it will say hello, you are an admin. Else, it will say, let's see, hello, just hello, nothing else. So, uh, let's check it out. I won't say name is not defined. What? Oh, oops, I uh, gave two equal signs. What happens? Okay, so now we'll go ahead and run it. Now uh, I'll give it. Hello, you are an admin. Now, else, uh, let's say. Hello, you are an admin again. Now I'll give some other name. Uh, I don't know. Joe. Hello. Nothing else, just hello. Now, another useful trick is uh, or we can also give not. So now, what this will do is do the exact opposite. So let's say you want the person's name not to be uh, let's say you're going to ban someone from the user interface so we, uh, if you want we'll check if that person's name is equal to something so let's say I banned uh, I don't know 
down go so I banned it so if uh, it is him you are banned else if that is not the case it will say hi so uh, let's check this out now uh, we give John Doe so it does not think the name is John Doe it knows it's not John Doe so let's say we are only letting uh, John Doe pass through which is why uh, I've given like this so uh, let's say let's and you are banned this uh, basically reverses something so if you if you don't want his name to be John Doe uh, I mean if you want his name to be John Doe uh, it was if you don't want his name uh, I mean one sec so if the name is equal to John Doe let's say we remove this then when the name is John Doe it will say you are banned so check John Doe you are banned but if we add a not it reverses the entire thing so uh, yeah I guess so uh, one sec blitz you are banned because my name is not that my name is not John Doe so yeah so uh, that's it for this video I hope you liked it if you do please like share and subscribe and also comment any suggestions you have or um, any problems you encountered while installing or using it I'd be happy to look into it so that's it Gablets signing off